Good morning, all of you. Some word problem also we want to discuss from this chapter. Then this is the last part of that chapter. Then <coughs> first we can uh, take the question. Uh, take the exercise question 2.6, page number 35. Exercise 2.6, question number 6. All of you read the question. The ages of Hari and Hari are in the ratio of 5 is to 7. 4 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 4. Find their present age. Okay. So, first is given two persons are Hari and Hari. Their ages are given in the ratio of 5 is to 7. If the ratio is given, how we can take their ages as? So, first Hari's age we can take it as we want to find out their present age so first we can take that present age of hari present age of hari we can take it as 5x why because the ratio is given 5 is to 7 so second person hari hari's age present age of hari we can take it as 7x because the ratio is given 5 is to 7 so, all of you, listen. First, we take present age of Hari. He is 5x. And present age of Hari, take it as 7x. Then what is given? 4 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 4. 4 years. After 4 years, then their ages will be what? So, after 4 years, Hari's age will be what? 5x plus 4 with the present age we are adding 4 and after 4 years Hadi's age will become 7x plus 4. Okay, that we know. If their present age is 5x and after 4 years Hadi present age of Hadi will be uh, after 4 years his age will become 5x plus 4. Now present age of Hadi is 7x. Then after 4 years his age become 7x plus 4. Then what is? 4 years from now the ratio of the ages will be 3 is to 4. That is given. The ratio of the ages is given 3 is to 4. So what is given? How we can write this in mathematical form? It is given 5x plus 4 by 7x plus 4. The ratio of the ages after 4 years that is given as 3 is to 4. So that we can write it as 3 is to 4 as 3 by 4. Then we got one algebraic equations. Then this equation we can simplify into a reduce. We can reduce it into a linear form. After that solve. How we solve this type of questions yesterday by cross multiplication. 4 multiply this with 5x plus 4 and 3 multiply with 7x plus 4. So what will be? 4 into 5x plus 4 equal 3 into 7x plus 4. So this becomes 4 into 5x, 20x plus 16 equal 21x plus 12. This implies 20x minus 21x equal 12 minus 16. That means minus x equal minus 4. What is that? It implies x equal to 4. Then what do we want to find out? Find the present age. Therefore, present age of Hadi will be what? Hadi's present age we can take it as 5 into 4 equal 20. And Hadi's present age will be what? 7 into 4 equal 28. So 20 and 28 are their present ages. Okay, it's simple. So first we took the area. If the ratio is given, we can take it as 5x and 7x. Then after 4 years, the ranges will be what? That we can take then what is given. After 4 years, the, age, the ratio of their age will become 3 is to 4. That we can write in this form. The ratio of their age after 4 years. This equation we want to form from the given statement, then it will be easy for solving. Okay, then next question. Question number 7. Okay, the denominator of a rational number 
is greater than its numerator by h. If the numerator is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1, the number obtained is 3 is 3 by 2. Find the rational number. That's the question. Here it is discussed about a rational number. Okay. Then what is given in this? For that rational number, the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by h. So the basic is, it is, uh, denominator is related with the numerator. Okay. Denominator is uh, told about the uh, numerator. So what we can take it as x or any variable that we can take it as numerator. So let the numerator be x. Numerator we can take it as x. Then what will be the denominator according to the question? Then the denominator equal. Read the question again. The denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8. So what we can write the denominator as? With the x we add h. Okay. So numerator we take it as x. Then the denominator will be x plus 8. How we take, why we take it as x plus 8? Because it is given the denominator is greater than increased by the numerator by 8. Then what will be that rational number? So the rational number we can write it as, then the rational number we can write it as x by x plus 8. We want to find out the value of x. For that also some proofs are given for the next statement. What is given? If the numerator is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1, the number obtained is given 3 by 2. Okay. If the numerator is increased by 17, then what will be that? Numerator now it is x. If it is increased by 17, we add 17 with it. And what is the next given? If the denominator is de decreased by 1. So what is the denominator now? The denominator now it is x plus 8. And it is, if it is decreased by 1, decreased by 1 means subtract 1. Then it will become what? 3 by 2. That is V1. So here also we got one equation. Algebraic equation. Here also we can simplify this as x plus 17 by x plus h minus 1, 7 equal 3 by 2. Then this equation we can reduce into linear form. Then solve. By cross multiplication we can find out the value of x. So how we will get the 2 multiply with the x plus 17. 2 into x plus 17 equal 3 into x plus 7. How we will get 2 into x? 2x plus 34 equal 3x plus 21. This implies 2x minus 3x it will be minus x equal 21 minus 34 it will be minus 13. So, x equal 13 will get. So, what will be the rational number which we want to find out? Its value of x we got it as 13. Then, the rational number will be therefore, the rational number is x by x plus 8. Substitute the value of x here. That means 13 by, then 13 plus 8 that will be 21. 13 by 21. Okay. This is that. So we finished this chapter. Only two word problems from this section. And also we completed this chapter. And if any doubt, you can ask to, uh, you can call me or uh, ask through WhatsApp. I will clear that questions. And uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday we can conduct one test paper of this chapter. So I uh, give one uh, suggestion for you if you all of you study this exercise all of you do all exercise question from this chapter today and tomorrow then if any doubt that you can ask to me then monday i will clear that doubt questions if you anybody have any doubts that i will clear on the monday class then tuesday we can conduct test paper okay thank you